Hey friends, Megan here. So we are back on our homestead property for another three day stretch of getting some work done. Now the problem we're having is we're running out of time. So are we gonna make it to get all this done before we need to be on the property? At this point, I honestly do not know. The scheduling conflicts we're having is we have tickets to Homesteaders of America. I've had our Airbnb booked for months for Homesteaders of America. And I worked out in my nursing contract that I would be off for that time. And all of this was before we bought the property. But what it's coming down to is that takes us out of working on this property for two whole weeks. And when you can only get down here three days at a time and you only have like a month and a half left to work on it, two weeks is a lot of work that you're missing out on. So let's talk property timeline. We have these three days. We have two weeks off for Homesteaders of America and work. And then after Homesteaders of America, we have only two more times that we'll be coming down here for our three day stretches before it's time to move on this property. And what we have to get done in that time frame is we gotta get the driveway cleared. We need to get a home site cleared to be able to put the RV on. And we have to get in a temporary driveway because in South Carolina, you can't have an actual driveway until you have an address. You can't have any of that until you have a septic permit, but you can't have a septic permit until you get your property cleared. So they can come out and figure out if they're gonna put in a septic and where they're gonna put it in at. And so basically it's this jumbled up circle mess that I've been going around in in weeks. And if you're on my Instagram, you probably have seen this in my stories or my reels where I'm complaining about the state of South Carolina because Holy goodness, this makes no sense. And I am so fed up with it. Can you just feel the frustrations rolling off of me? Because I feel like if I was you sitting on the other end of this camera, I would be able to feel it, friend. I would be able to feel it because the frustration level is on up here. But we're working through it and we're getting it done together because homesteaders do hard things. This is a hard thing that we're having to deal with and get through, but we can do it because we've already done hard things and we know we have a whole lot more hard things in front of us. And we can do it together and we can do it with y'all's help and support. So thank you for that, by the way. So our goals for this three day weekend are to hopefully make it back to our 200 foot mark or pretty close to it. That's the only goal I have for right now. That's it, work our butts off, clearing land to make it back to that 200 foot mark. Think we can go 100 feet in three days? Let's find out. Okay, so this is where we ended up last time. We got quite the bit of it done already. Um, like I said earlier, we're about 97 feet in. My goal is 200. Now, if you watched our previous videos and you've seen the walkthrough of the property, you know there is a swampy area on straight backwards. We're not quite sure how far back the swamp area is because we didn't measure it that day. So while our goal is 200 feet, we're not sure at what point we will hit water. <laughs>
Where are my homestead and parents at? Anybody know how to get pine sap out of pants? What? Like, this kid is an awkward shape already. He's very small in the waist, very long in the legs. No pants ever fit him, but these do. And now they're covered in pine sap. <laughs> Today is day two of our three day stretch to see how much property we can get cleared this weekend. My goal is 100 feet, we'll see. Last night we only had a couple hours, but I still think we made some progress. It got too dark to keep filming, so I cut the camera off and we just kept going. You'll be able to see this morning where I've went through and marked trees that I want to come down today. They've got orange marks on them and hopefully get a pretty good picture of the progress we made and the progress we hope to make today. So, name of the game is to see if we can get all of the orange mark trees down. Yeah. Kenneth's already getting started with boiling water for coffee and oatmeal this morning, so let's get to it. That one's already getting to work this morning. Don't mind him, he's just a little clumsy. I love you. I love you. I love him, Daddy. He's a daddy. You see a color? What color is that? It is orange.
up, buddy? Thanks for helping. Good job, little thinker. I'll see him. He is in my way. What's on your hands? The, the markers. Markers are on your hands. Why would you do that? No, 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 no.
Good morning, friends. We are on day three of three, so that means this is our last day here. Now, today we are going to try and get as much done as we can, and we will give you a final total of how much land we were able to clear in these three days. My goal was 100 feet. Well, technically 103. I wanted to get to 200 feet before we left today. I don't, I don't know that I have faith that we're gonna make it. My camera died last night. I just kept working and did not come change the battery. So I'm sorry about that. I just wanted to get as much as we could done. It's time to have some breakfast, get ready. And while we're doing this whole breakfast shebang thing, why don't you go ahead and put in the comments how many of those orange marked trees that was our goal to get done yesterday that you think is still standing. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a hint. We do not have any trees on the ground waiting to be cut up. If it was on the ground, we went ahead and took care of it last night. Do you think we got all of our orange marked trees completed yesterday? That was our goal. If not, how many do you think we have left? I will be waiting on your answer. Put it in the comments below. I'm gonna get breakfast started. It's oatmeal and coffee again today. Chocolate milk for the little one. Let's get to it. If you haven't seen my YouTube shorts video about how I make our fire starters, you should check that out. It's easy, simple. It works every time. Go check that out. It can help you. Okay, friends, so did y'all put a comment down about how many orange marked trees we still have left? Do you think we have none? Do you think we have up to five? Like, what do you think? I'm going to give you five seconds to put it down there, and then we're going to find out the answer. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. If your answer was three orange marked trees, you are correct. We have this one right here left. We still have that one and that one those two the reason they're remaining is because we need to drop them backwards um, they can't go forward or they'll hit the power line so we had to clear enough room backwards before we could lay them down
That's weird. Well, friends, I can tell you we did not make our goal for the day because we're out of gas. We could run to the gas station to get more gas, but we only have like an hour left before the sun goes down. So this is where we're at. This tree is just gonna have to lay where it's at because we ran out. I was hoping to get this tree down also. That ain't gonna happen. Come here pulling up. Another neighbor coming to check on us. Yep. So evidently he said he heard he had some new neighbors and just wanted to stop by and say hi. <laughs> oh man, that makes two for this weekend alone. Usually we have at least one every single day stop by and talk to us. Laugh in a small town. <laughs> hey, at least by the time we have our house built we'll know all of our neighbors so that's a plus. Plus they've all been really nice and each of them has told us if we need anything, just let them know. I don't know how to let them know because I don't know where they live, but you know, it's the salt that counts. My goal was to make it a 200 feet. We ain't there. I know we ain't there. At this point, I will be happy if we're at 150 feet. Next weekend is Homesteaders of America. I am so excited. Actually, mm, this weekend that you're watching this, it's Homesteaders of America. So, if you're there, let us know. We want to know that you're there. We want to see you. We want to talk to you. We want to make homesteading friends. We'll be in town for the conference on Friday when this goes live and on Saturday. And we'll also be in town on Sunday that are free. So if you want to meet up, let us know. Time to find out how far we made it. You ready to know? No. <laughs> one forty six and a half feet long. That was one hundred forty six and a half feet long of driveway. Our goal is 200 feet of driveway and then a home site. We've been averaging about 45 to 50 feet per three day trip. So it looks like one more three day trip is needed to finish out the driveway. And that doesn't even include clearing the home site. And we only have two more three day trips down here before we move down here. And at some point in time, we gotta put in a driveway too. Yeah. This is fun. It is going to be literally down to the wire. So follow along and see if we make our goal of hitting our driveway mark before we move down here. 